Hello everybody, I am Nico D. Today I'm gonna show you some gameplay on the Oldroid N2. For this I'm going to use Emu Elec. This works very well, but it isn't perfect. A lot of games don't work, like Dreamcast, I can't get any Dreamcast games to work. And a lot of Nintendo 64 games have problems. But a lot more games do work right and do work very well than games that don't work well. I did try Battle Sera for the Oldroid N2, but there were a lot more problems than with Emu Elec. So I prefer to use Emu Elec on the Oldroid N2 for now to play emulation games. This is made by Shanti from the Oldroid forum. I will leave a link in the description to download this image. So here we go! So as always, let's start with the master system. So here is Mickey Mouse Caster of Illusion. That was one of my favorite games when I was small. But I played it again now and damn it was hard. I didn't remember it was so hard. They had no pity for us. Here's Ghostbusters for the Master System. This must be one of the most awful games that was ever made. I remember hiring this game at the video store and every cent I paid for it was way too much. This is just an awful game. So all Master System games were great on here. On Battle Sarah this wasn't the fact. The whole image was shifted and you didn't see everything on your screen. So now let's go to the Super Nintendo. Here is the Adams Family. I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm just doing something. Here is V-Rally edition 99 for the Nintendo 64. This plays great but it doesn't look very good. With other cores it looks better but again the image has been shifted so you don't see everything. Next I will show you Snowboarder 180 with another core. Three, two, one, go! Kensuke Kimachi versus Rob Haywood. Ready? Go! Oh.
Now onto the PlayStation games. I didn't see any problems with PlayStation games. All the games I've tried worked. So here is Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. And as last, the PlayStation Portable games. Most games do work very well. They work better than on the RK3399s. But not all of them work well. Like here with Burnout Legends, it suddenly exits the game. And with Toka there is a lot of artifacting. That was also on the RK3399. But the frame rate is a lot better than on the RK3399s. So this shows that the Oldroid N2 is very powerful for these things. So that's it for today, as you could see the Oldroid N2 is very capable to play emulation games, but there is still a lot of work that needs to be done to get things better. Certainly for Nintendo 64 and for PlayStation Portable things can improve a lot, and I hope Dreamcast can be fixed also. That did work on the RK3399s. I did see an improvement with some games compared to the RK3399s. Certainly for the PlayStation Portable games, the horsepowers of the Oldroid N2 show, but for now it is perfect. But with Nintendo 64 games there are always problems. So that is not only with the Oldroid N2, also with the PlayStation Portable games. It's best to use a PC for those. But do keep in mind that this is the first version of Emu Elec, so things can improve a lot. The Oldroid N2 is still new, so we can all expect things to improve a lot. I did record a lot more consoles like the NES, but my capture device its sound stopped working, so I couldn't use all those images. So thank you all for watching, I hope you liked my video, please subscribe to my channel, see you later, bye!